It is Venison Sharks. Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. And I am actually ready to, uh, well, I was ready for Resorts Pro, but it turns out I'm actually starving. So let's go see if we can find a good pizza here. It's the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. Hi, it's Venison Sharks, and we are here with Sleepless in Las Vegas. My boy Ted. Ted say what's up, man. Hey, you All right. So I was going to ask, um, because you probably told me. I don't actually remember. Where in space are we going? <laughs> I went to a, it's a, it's a pizza bus. Basically, pizza bus. It travels around and it's right now it's at a different, it's at a bar. Oh. But it's, like it's, it's at different places every day. Oh. Ah. During, during the weekend. So is this like a Vegas only sort of tour? It's like a, it's like a food truck. It's kind of like a food truck only it's uh Pizza. Oh, the pizza, okay. Yeah. All right, I can get down with that. I mean, I, I, I do the food truck tacos, like the street tacos, tacos al pastor, preferiero. I don't know, that's just kind of a thing with me. Uh, shout outs to uh, Tacos Extravaganza in Lakewood, Colorado. Best tacos in the world. Um, I'd probably say they even have tacos of gordo meat. Right. Yeah, so um, when you take a trip out to Denver, hit me up and thank you, man. Have a oh, good time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess we are on our way. We'll go ahead and check it out. All right, what in space did you bring me to over here? What is it, Izzy's Pizza Bus? This is insane. All right, so th so they actually have, it's a literal bus. I'm not sure what I expected, but I wasn't expecting a literal bus. We gotta get a closer look at this. All right, Spinners and Sharks, but here it is. We are here at the Pizza Bus. So this is all Detroit-style pizza here, so not quite New York like I'm used to, but still looks pretty interesting. They've got all sorts of Supreme pizzas here. They got the Red Harvest, which is all peppers and bacon and amazing things like that. Hot honey drizzle, that would be interesting. I might look into that next time. But it's actually not looking too bad. Pricing's about right. These are full pizzas, by the way, so you can get groups of people and have a good time here. They're running from 5 to 9 today. It's a Wednesday. Drinks are pretty reasonably priced for being in Vegas. And actually, I think that's a lot more appropriate. Sodas for $2 and then water for $1. That is correct. Also, check out their menu via QR code here, and it'll pop up on your screen. All right, let's finish the shark. So while we're waiting for the pizza bus to open, we decided to go ahead and hang out here at, uh, what do we call this place again? Uh, Tenea Creek? Tenea Creek? I don't know. I don't actually know. I'll put it on the screen. But we're at a local bar over here that the pizza bus happens to be parked at because it goes to different bars and restaurants and all that and we'll post up outside there. So we decided to go ahead and try out one of the hard ciders here. Good stuff, it's very blend, very tart. Got a little bit of sweetness. Kind of an alcohol aftertaste there. I still think it's pretty strong. I give it a four out of five if it was up to me, but that's just my first point. Ted, what do you think, man? Just like, just like a lemonade soda, right? Yeah, it's kind of, kind of, yeah, kind of. It, it's a little, it's a little whiny to me, you know, right. kind of like that. Like it tastes like a wine. It's a beer, but it tastes like a wine. But how different is beer and wine, really? And that's what you think about it when you break it down. Yeah, it's good. But actually, don't really drink anymore. So last time I drank, I had cider, which was pretty good. And then, I mean, whatever. It's like good you know, stuff. I was gonna say how you beat me. I, I think I got drunk about 12 hours ago. <laughs> That's what happens when you hang out with the Kino. Shout out to the Kino Kid. Oh, also, it's a slot machine. I was hanging out with her too. Yeah, I'm really interested in that Mike's hot honey. It bothers me though, as a New Yorker. Like, honey on pizza seems wrong. <laughs> So, yeah, definitely gonna have to jam on this. I haven't eaten um, probably since breakfast time. It's, it's a little late now, so yeah, really looking forward to this. But it's gonna be fresh, handmade pizza. Really looking forward to that. And actually, a little curious too, if you guys are up for an interview, I have a general question. Mike's Hot Honey, what is that and why does it go on pizza? I have to know. <laughs> It's so chili infused. So did you guys just feed honey to the bees, and then, and is that how it works, or? The other day, actually started it out of a pizzeria in Brooklyn, I believe. Right, that's where I'm from. That's good stuff. Yeah, this is straight up from Brooklyn right here. 
Okay, all right. That makes me feel a bit better about it. Hmm. Yeah, it's super good. They say you can put it on even like desserts and stuff, ice creams and stuff. I know another place here in town puts it over cheesecake. Really? How much is it for a packet of that? A dollar. Uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and get like five of those. I'm gonna take some back back to the wife. See what she thinks. All right. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's good. Nice, nice. I was a little like, eh, at first. Yeah, I was a little. Was telling me about it, and I tried it, and I was like, all right. And I was gonna say I'm skeptical, but you know, I'm I'm open-minded, so. Yeah, it lists on the back a few different things, so. Uh, yeah, here we go. Ice, it lists what ice cream. It? I haven't tried it on ice cream. Haven't tried it on ice cream. You know, I, I've got just the just the pretty lady that lives at home that'll put it on ice cream, and I'll come back and I'll let you guys know. Honey, no money. This page is gonna let you know when your pizzas are ready. It's gonna probably be about all right, it's Minutes and Sharks, and we are waiting for our pizzas over here. Uh, Sleepless in Las Vegas, very generously treated for this one here. So we both get whole ass pizzas, which I'm going to need because it's going to be a long night at this Resort World Grand Opening. You guys will probably have a link to the live stream replay in the description or probably in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Probably both. So, yeah, definitely going to have to jam on this. I haven't eaten um, probably since breakfast time. It's, it's a little late now, so, yeah, really looking forward to this. But it's going to be fresh. Handmade pizza. Really looking forward to that. There we go. Yeah, we got that baby love pizza there. So that's got the mushrooms, pepperoni, bacon, parmesan, olives. I think it's got some onions in there. It's got all the good stuff. And said, I think you got you got that hot fire pepperoni right there, right? All good. No worries. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with keeping it classic, right? Yeah, I think we should dig into these because I'm starving. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, it is hot. Oh, that is really hot. Yeah, this is, oh, this came straight out the oven here. Good stuff. All right, first bite then. Off we go. Mm. I like that. It's actually pretty good. Uh, is Detroit style pizza normally like they do? They put the sauce on top all the time. I didn't know that. Not sure. I guess so. I'm not used to that. So New York me is like, no, this is crazy. Vegas me right now is like, I can get down with this. Yeah, the sauce is fresh. The ingredients are fresh. There's good stuff over here. I wish it was sausage and not pepperoni though. fresh. So I think sausage is just a better pizza topping overall than pepperoni, no offense. <laughs> Anyone that's into pepperoni. But uh, no, I think this is a pretty solid pizza here. I do wish that the, and again this is more of a nitpick than anything else, I wish that the sauce was under the cheese, that it was layered like that. Again, I'm used to New York style pizza. So if you want a New York style pizza, this probably isn't for you there. I still think it's a good pizza. I think it's a good four out of five. All right, we gotta ask Dad here. How do you feel about the pizza, my man? How are you feeling about this? You got the pepperoni. Good pepperoni? Good pepperoni. Good pepperoni. Good pepperoni. Good pepperoni. Oh. So you get a pepperoni, pepperoni, small pepperoni is spicy. Got you. So you get more, yeah, get more concentrated spice there. So, if you had to rate it out of five, what would you say you give it? Look at this, four point five. Mm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I dig that. So we're going to have to find out how to find these guys. I think you can follow them on Instagram. I'm going to have to get the handle from the guys there. But I'll put it on the screen. And then if you guys are in Vegas, you can come check them out. All right, it's Minnesota Sharks, but that was it. That was Izzy's Pizza Bus. Um, and shout outs to Ted for taking us out there. And don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I've got a link in the description box below. But yeah, appreciate you bringing us out there. And um, also, I was going to ask too, so how, how do other people find this on their trip that they have coming up? Yep, and that's going to be on screen here and in the description box below. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's uh, safe for me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So they find it, we'll see where it's at. <laughs> well, definitely a good place to good place to go. So if you like pizza and um, you, you like it fresh, like a little creativity, I think it's a, it's a solid pick. I think it's a solid pick. All right.
right. Well, on that bombshell, then, I, I will say this is Vegas signing out. Wish you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. All right there, spinners and sharks. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Special thanks to Ted from Sleepless in Las Vegas for inviting us along in today's adventure. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box down below. Do you think you'll check out Izzy's Pizza Bus when they come back this September? How do you feel about the Detroit-style pizza? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spending you guys. Oh